Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Batman painting series and this one is uh, part two of the Heath Ledger Joker. Um, yeah, nothing more to say, let's get on with it. Oh, into the face, um, the makeup, uh, as I say you don't have to do the, the flesh tones but that's my problem really. Uh, all I've got is Rakarth flesh. I'm just going over where I've been with the skin tone. So I'm doing a line from the inside corner of the eye down the cheeks on both sides. Doing the cheekbones. I'm not concerned about the eyes because they're going to be quite dark around there. And the brow. I'll do a couple of patches on the forehead as well. Two coats there. I've, I've deliberately tried to keep a little bit of flesh tone up on the forehead because um, I'm going for the, you know, the the rubbed off makeup look. Um, I'm on to pallid witch flesh now. Uh, nose. Probably see where these lines are now with this light to colour. I'll wait for that to dry and do it again. And so hopefully you can see that there's like little patches of flesh tone that have you know have left from the, the skin underneath. Um, I'm going back in now with a mix of pallid flesh with a little bit of white added to it. And I'm just going to try and highlight the areas that I've covered already. So I'll put it back down towards the table and I'll refocus and then we'll start. Okay, here we go with the added white. Well, it's the same again, right on the beak. And I'm just going to try and highlight the areas that I've touched on before. Try and get that rubbed off makeup look. Don't forget the corner of the jaw there in the corner. There's a little spot um, on the upper lip, just at the bottom of the nose, where you want to highlight to. I'll do another pass and uh, you should be done on the face. Okay, so I'm happy with the face. I'm going on to the waistcoat now. So I've got uh, the original Sherwood Green now uh, on its own. No, uh, nothing else mixed into it. I'm uh, just putting in some highlights at the top of each crease. And I'm on the edge of the waistcoat in the middle. set up I can't really see the other side of the waistcoat so I'll have to do it off camera so you can see where the highlights are going anyway I'm 
I'll do the other half now. Did some uh, spring green to the Sherwood green, uh, watered it down a bit now, and uh, we're going to highlight above where we put the first highlight. Just pull it towards the the edge of the waistcoat. While I'm there, I've got the Boreal Green um, on the side of my palette, and this is really wet now, uh, really dilute. I'm just going to push a little shadow into there. Just to get some definition on these uh, little highlights. More highlight, um, a spring green on its own. I just want to do the top of the top of the waistcoat on the top of each highlight on the edge of the waistcoat. There. Just little dots. Use exactly the same colours for the hair as well. Next up is the trousers. Um, what I was using was uh, blue violet and violet. So the, the this base coat is blue violet. And what I've done, I've got the violet now. I've made a wash and I'm just going to apply it but try and get it into the creases. So this, the, the second pass will be just concentrating into the creases. So whilst that's drying, um, I've got a like a mid grey. And I'm just going to start doing the eye area. I haven't gone black just yet because I just want to get the, get the right area first. I will, I will only do the one eye for now and I'll do the other one off now. I'll just try and get a couple of jagged lines in there. It's pretty difficult to see, I would have thought, on this, but that's what we're trying to uh, achieve. Apologies for the angle, but I'm going for the eyes. Um, what I'll do is just try and do a straight line across the eye socket. Oh, I can't see it. From this angle, it's quite awkward. I'm going to have to do this off camera, I think. That's, that's the idea, just do a line straight across. Just build it up slowly. So apologies, I had to do that off camera, but we got the eyes in now. Um, it's just a case of putting a dot in there. And uh, I'll get on to the lips then. Um, I'll, I'll come back after I've dotted the... Okay, so I'm going to do the... The base while well, that's drying. Um, got some quite thin German grey on the side of the palette, and um, I've I've put one coat on there, and I've I've put black in between the lines. And I'm going to do a bit of um, a loaded brush. So I've got German grey and a little spot of white. On my brush, and a little bit of black, finish it off on the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's the base. 
Put a little bit of uh, a little bit of black in in the corner. Just water on my brush now and work while it's still wet. Just to feather it out a bit. You can do this um, a couple of times. Well, I mean, you know, doing the whole technique on the same bit of uh, same bit of pavement every, you know, more than once, just to go over it. If you mess it up, uh, we'll do one at the back here. carry on and do the rest of the tiles I'll come back okay so once you've done all the tiles all I do then is get a light grey and then just use the side of my brush around the edges um, it's a bit different than uh, just plain grey quite like it so uh, that's that done anyway um, I'm gonna finish the trousers now so onto the trousers remember we did a uh, violet wash into the shadows. I've, I've just um, added a little bit of black to the violet and I've gone in into the, the deep creases. So what I'm going to do now is start layering up with the violet again and uh, just starting to pick out some highlights now. I'm not going to do too much because we're going to attempt uh, stripes in a minute. So I'm just picking out all the raised folds. So that's a highlight with um, the 50-50 mix of the violet and the blue violet. And now I'm going to highlight with the blue violet on its own. And I'm just picking out the tops of each crease now. All you can do if you mess this up, you can always put a glaze over the top of the purple, which I'm gonna have to do because that looks awful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back in with a mid tone and correct it. I stand corrected um, when it dried, it wasn't, uh, wasn't as bad as I was expecting, so I'm gonna leave that. Right, so what I'm gonna do is get some uh, dark seed blue I think and add a little bit of black to it and we'll try some stripes on the trousers now. So I've got it mixed on my palette ready. What I usually do is I don't thin it so much with water, it's more of um, a flow improver instead of water. So I get uh, just get it moving and it goes where I want it to go. And I just tend to build up the lines very, very slowly. So I use the, the zip as a point of reference for the first line. I 
and then just it's just the case then of just taking your time and trying to get them equal distance apart. Well, that, that line there is starting to come now. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've carried on around the back and I'm, I'm trying to keep them same distance apart, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. But at this scale, it really doesn't matter, so don't get too worked up about it. Um, I mean, if you wanted to be really fancy, you could do a herringbone uh, <laughs> pattern down the side of the seams and stuff, but uh, I think that's enough. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing the stripes. Uh, done the fronts of the leg and I think we're almost done then. That's the, the trousers done. I put a, a little couple of highlights on the, the weapon. I wasn't sure what I was doing really but I, I saw some ridges there so I thought I'll just highlight each ridge. Uh, what I've got is uh, chocolate brown now um, for the shoes and I'll just throw a highlight on the, the toe caps of the shoes and I think we're done. So once I've done that, um, I'll take some nice pictures and we'll do a wrap up. OK, here we are, finished, uh, looking good. Um, so yeah, uh, another enjoyable one for me. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do more of these videos now uh, in the future. I know I've been uh, concentrating on Harry Potter for a bit, but I'll, I'll try and get some more Batman minis uh, painted up for you as well. So um, yeah, hit like if you liked it, um, share it if you want, if you think somebody would uh, enjoy it and might learn something from it, yeah, crack on. Um, so yeah, all good. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.